The cytoskeleton consists of a variety of protein structures located inside the cell cytoplasm that provide support, protection, and locomotion for the cell. The components of the cytoskeleton include microfilaments, intermediate filaments, microtubules, and extensions of the cytoskeleton, such as centrosomes, centrioles, cilia, and flagella. The cytoplasm is the semi-fluid material inside a cell that supports the cytoskeleton and organelles. This gel-like substance is made up mostly of the cytosol, the cell solution, and primarily consists of water containing a variety of dissolved chemicals, such as the respiratory gases, oxygen and carbon dioxide, many ions, macromolecules like proteins and carbohydrates, and their building blocks. Think of the cytoplasm as the life-supporting medium of the cell. The cytoskeleton is not made of bone or cartilage like the body skeleton. It is an ultramicroscopic protein support structure that provides many important functions for the cell. It consists of three major components, the microfilaments, intermediate filaments, and microtubules. These three fiber-like structures are listed in order of increasing diameter or thickness. The microfilaments have the smallest diameters. The intermediate filaments have an average or medium diameter. And the microtubules have the largest, thickest diameters. The cytoskeleton provides many diverse and important functions for the cell, including strength and support. Remember that cells are mostly composed of water and are surrounded by a fluid phospholipid membrane so the extra reinforcing strength of the strong protein fibers of the cytoskeleton helps support the relatively fragile cell structure. The cytoskeleton also helps maintain a cell shape. This is critical since cell shape is directly correlated with function in all of life's organization. Many cells have specialized shapes that are critical to maintain for the cell to carry out its specific set of functions. The proteins of the cytoskeleton also organize metabolic reactions. They help ensure that reactants and products are moving in their required directions to their specific locations within the cell, so the cell's physiology can be carried out in an efficient and organized manner. The cytoskeleton also functions in movement, helping to move tiny organelles such as transport and secretory vesicles, as well as larger organelles throughout the cell. It also enables the movement of entire cells, such as sperm cells, that have a long flagellum that allows the sperm to swim to the egg and fertilize it. The surface membranes of some cells, like the epithelial cells lining the respiratory tract, contain clusters of cilia that help filter and catch debris before it makes its way to the more delicate respiratory membranes of the lungs. The microfilaments are the structures of the cytoskeleton that have the smallest diameter. They're thread-like, but incredibly strong, similar to fishing line that is thin, but strong enough to support hundreds or thousands of pounds of pressure. Microfilaments are made primarily of the protein actin. Actin fibers are predominant in muscle tissue, and we'll learn more about muscle contraction later in the course. Movement is a major function of microfilaments, allowing muscle cells to contract, to pull against bone, to make changes in organ volume, or to assist in the transport of fluids and digestive materials in the GI and urinary tracts. A large concentration of microfilaments is located directly under the cell membrane, functioning in support for the cell. This is similar to a thick woven mat that helps provide structure and support for the plasma membrane above, and also to support specialized cell features like the microvilli that aid in secretion and absorption within epithelial cells of the GI tract. The intermediate filaments have an average size diameter in between the microfilaments and microtubules. They are made of the tough protein keratin. 
the same protein found in hair, fingernails, and toenails. We know how strong and tough hair and nails are, so remember that connection as you study the function of the intermediate filaments. In contrast to the microfilaments, the intermediate filaments are more like thicker ropes or strong supportive cables. Their role in the cytoskeleton is to hold and anchor organelles in a specific area in the cell. The nucleus, for example, is often held in place near the central region of cells or found as a basal nucleus near the bottom of a cell, like in the simple columnar epithelia of the GI tract. The microtubules are the largest structures of the cytoskeleton, having the widest diameter. They resemble a hollow tube, similar to a straw, which consists of a strand of the protein tubulin that is wound around to form a hollow cylinder. This shape gives the microtubule a lot of strength and durability. Microtubules help maintain the specialized shape of a cell. They also act as tracks to transport organelles such as vesicles that move along the microtubule like how a train moves along a track, carrying their chemical cargo from one organelle to the next. Microtubules are also involved in cell division. They are produced by extensions of the cytoskeleton called centrioles, which help assemble and organize microtubules. As the centrioles assemble the microtubules during cell division, spindle fibers develop, which consist of microtubules that attach to the centromeres of the sister chromatids and help separate them during the various stages of mitosis and meiosis. Another important component of the cytoskeleton are the centrosomes, the central bodies, which play a role in cell division. The centrosomes are located at the opposite poles of the cell, one at the top and the other at the bottom. This arrangement is important because cells must display a high degree of symmetry and organization when it comes to division, as we'll learn more about in this unit. Within each centrosome is a pair of tiny barrel-like centrioles arranged at right angles to each other, one vertical and one horizontal. The centrioles are organized collections of microtubules, which help assemble and disassemble microtubules that make up the spindle fibers of the mitotic spindle. The perpendicular arrangement of the centrioles helps ensure that new microtubules are assembled in all directions as they extend throughout the cell from both poles. The spindle is the complete microtubule structure that helps separate the chromosomes during cell division. Its shape resembles a top or an American football, having more narrow tapered ends and a wider, thicker middle region. The centrioles consist of triplets of microtubules, with nine triplets arranged in a cylinder, with none in the center, called the nine plus zero pattern as seen in this cross section. All of the microtubules in the centrioles are linked together by proteins, so they form a strong, condensed structure that can help grow and assemble the microtubules into the spindle fibers. Cilia are abundant, short, whisker, or hair-like structures usually found densely concentrated on the surfaces of cells. They're not true hairs, having a completely different structure made of microtubules, and they're also surrounded by the cell membrane. For example, epithelial cells located along the trachea are covered with cilia that act as a physical filter helping to remove debris, such as pollen, dust, and particulates, along with secreted mucus from goblet cells. The cell cilia can help bundle the debris and sweep it out of the respiratory tract to prevent damage. The cilia move in a rhythmic fashion, similar to the motion of oars rowing a boat or the wind moving grasses in a field. This movement is a gentler motion consisting of a forward stroke 
called the power stroke and a backward stroke called the return or recovery stroke. This movement is helpful in transporting substances in a specific direction across the cell surface. In contrast to the cilia, the flagella are longer extensions of a cell. Certain animal cells usually have just one flagellum, whereas in protozoa, flagella can be more abundant. Their main function is to transport the entire cell. In animals, sperm cells have one flagellum at the base of the cell, which acts as a propeller, a long whip-like tail that thrashes around to allow the sperm to swim towards the egg. The flagellum also moves in a more erratic, whip-like fashion, thrashing around, causing the sperm to move in a very specific direction towards its destination. It's like a propeller on a boat's motor, allowing it to move forward continuously in a specific direction. One last note about the ultrastructure of the microtubules found within the structure of both cilia and flagella. These microtubules are mounted to the cell through a short basal body, which consists of nine triplets of microtubules similar to the structure of the centrioles. But as the cilia or flagella extends away from the basal body, their structure changes. They now consist of nine doublets of microtubules arranged in a ring, with a single pair of microtubules found in the center of the structure. This is referred to as the 9 plus 2 pattern of microtubules.